What's going on guys and girls, Van Gogh here with Sheepy Shep. Alright guys. We're having a surprise jewel con for this one. And Yay. it is just because this was Shep's idea, he wanted to do this. Uh, basically we've got a team full of, as you can see, informs. We went for a BPL, played a 3-5-2 because we didn't really, I don't know, we wanted to try out all these centre backs because they've all got pretty good shots on them. Well, especially two of them anyway. But we'll look at this. What did what did you reckon of David De Gea, mate? De Gea was a good shot stopper. He, yeah, he, I don't think he made any mistakes. He's definitely worth it, I'd have said. Cause he's we probably... paid, how much did we pay for him? We paid 47k for him, which is quite cheap to be honest. Yeah. I, I quite enjoyed him. But if you look at his diving, it's 87 and his reflexes are 88, so that's probably why he's quite a good shot stopper. But yeah, we'll move on to the first of the centre backs now, and you're going to see all of them anyway. But in the middle, we had Ivan Ramis purely because of the pace issue that is there. He's, what, 61 pace? That's not the best, no, is it really? We, got, we did uh, get found out against by a lot of teams because of our lack of pace. But we only had him in because he had. Stupid shooting stats. Yeah, his his power, free kick power is like ninety nine or something. Yeah. It's unbelievably good for sixteen and a half thousand for an inform. I suppose if you just want an inform, then it'd be okay. On this hand side, the right hand side, we chose Maynor Figueroa, yeah. and he's a beast. He's got the he's got the good shooting as well. He's usually a wing back, isn't he? You said. Yeah, he's usually a left back. Yeah, exactly. So it, that's why he's probably got a bit more pace. He's 79 overall. He's quite a good player. I mean, we pay, how much did we pay for him? 34. It's a lot more. It's like double the other one. But yeah, he's definitely it was a lot. It. it was a lot better. Yeah, his pace. We needed someone fast at the back, and he was our bit of yeah, pace. Yeah, he's got a good defending and good heading as well. We're going to move on to the next one now, and that is going to be Colacini. I've used him before on a couple of teams, including that Nations on Vacations video that I'm always talking about. But he's pretty good. His pace isn't as good as Maynard Figueroa's, but he's still 83 defending and 81 heading, so he's a beast, really. Yeah, Collar's a tank. He always the only is. thing is, people just fucking pulled his hair as he ran past him, just to yeah, slow him down. the amount of times he got dragged down because of his fucking hair, it's exactly. disgusting. It was disgusting. Get it sorted, yeah. We're going to move on to our <laughs> centre defensive mid now, and we have got... Oh, cleverly God. on the left hand side I didn't really like him to no, be he's got, I don't like him anyway just in general he's a good man. player in real life but he's got quite average stats he should he's, be an alright player but he's just not he's, he's got not he doesn't stand out he just goes missing every game yeah he, he, just, really feels, he just feels boring you know I mean like unlike De Guzman which is here on the other side and he's a bit he's a bit more physical like do you know what I mean? He gets into tackles more. Yeah. We actually scored a goal with him as well. We didn't. We didn't find anything to do with cleverly. We tried, he's, but he's cheap. One thousand eight. No, eighteen thousand five hundred. Exactly. He's got good weak foot and good skills. So yeah, he's got long pog traits. He's as a well, very so solid player. Yeah. He was a, he was a very solid player. Yeah, you're right, Chef. He was. Yeah. And move on to the right hand side. It's the fucking spud looking oh, cunt that is. Yes. James Milner. I. Uh, well, we started off not liking him, yeah, didn't we, we? But we actually <laughs> ended up liking him in the end. After the first game, we was we got beat and was like, right, we're selling the entire team because we're shit. But then we was like, no, we got to keep going. And Milner was one of the main reasons we hated the teams because he's just. He's, he's, he's just he's, so average yeah, again. I he's, know. For but, a winger, six, 75 pace isn't really good enough, is it? But he did towards the end. He grew on us and he started it was his, getting I think involved. when he started... Because well, this team is just a long pog team, basically. It's just you shoot from anywhere and it just seems to just be a good effort. Uh, so that brings us on to uh, the left midfielder, which is Stephen Pienaar. And like the first goal we scored was with him and it was, I think, like a pog from like 30 yards away. It was so good. We got him for 16,000, which is relatively cheap again for an inform. Um, I don't understand where all my money went on this team, but I've spent about 400k on it. Well, a bit less than that because I've got 50k left. But his dribbling is probably the main stat with him. It's 85 overall, but he just he felt too slow to make yeah. use of it. Again, I mean? he's 75 pace, same as Milner. When you so. build, when you beat a player, you want to have the pace to just leave them for dead. Like I could roulette someone, and then it'd be a batty, and it'd be like, okay, he's he's basically bumming me again. So what am I gonna do now? And you were just fucked, really, weren't you? Yeah. I think this is the, one of the most expensive players in our team now, probably my favourite one, Inform to Wrapped. I've used him before, and uh, look at that, 5-star weak, weak foot, 5-star oh. skill moves. But it, look, we didn't, even score, K. we didn't even score a goal with him as well, which I was really disappointed about, because I thought we would score so many with him. He was a bit a good playmaker, he set up most of the goals, just by, we passed it into his feet, he turned, hit it down to the wing or to the striker's feet, and yeah. he score. It was score. He held the ball up well, surprisingly, because I thought... When I used him before, I just thought he was this little weedy player that would just run and score goals. But he's good, he's good, he's fast, and he's got good dribbling. Exactly. So he carried the ball forward quite a lot. I, I liked his little skill moves anyway, so it's fine. I'm going to move on to the strikers now, and we have got Jekko on this Yay. side. And uh, Jekko is a star man. He's, 
I'd, I'd, I'd never realised you could score many that many goals through heading the ball. And his long shots He's are got so a good as well. Long shots. Uh, this this is probably the guy I would advise to buy the most out of all of the players. He he was such a good player, wasn't he? He was def- he's definitely underrated. Twenty eight k, and he's got awesome long shots. I've, I've never ever used Jekko before, but I just think he's so good. I said we should him. get Jekko up from with the other guy because little and large, big and yeah, slow, exactly, big and slow and small and fast. So speaking of which, he's he's been in one of these before. It's Defoe, and you remember Peter Crouch Defoe. Yeah, exactly. Years ago, that always worked for me. I always liked them as a pairing, and there you go. He, we got him for a bit more than Jekko, but he still, like, we, you, he, he just seems like faster than eighty-five pace. Yeah. Whenever I used him, it just seems to like bomb it down the wings. He like, burns off everyone. Exactly. He was, he was a really good player, but the combination of little and big actually does work on FIFA. It's really strange because you can aim it towards Jekko, he'll flick it on, and Defoe is just like, All right, see you later, mate, and he'll just bomb off with the ball. It's pretty good. But anyway, guys. That's the team. Overall, it cost us about three hundred and fifty thousand. I think. Yeah. I think we could have made some improvements. Definitely. A P N R and Milner, but other and than also that, also cleverly. Oh like yeah. Said. Just, just, just. You know what? Let's just quick sell him now. No, I'm joking. Yeah, I'm cool. joking. No, we're not. Get, get in quick sell <laughs> now. <laughs> no, you're all right. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's the team, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's a bit longer than usual because there's two of us talking. Yeah. Hopefully, it's more entertaining because I'm a boring cunt when I'm on my own. Yeah, you really are, Joe. I'm sick of you. Sorry of the c word language. There. I shouldn't drop the c bomb on oh, me. Oh dear. I know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Dos for Daniel. <laughs>